Hello loves! Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be testing out a bunch of brand new high-end makeup. I have some goodies here that I got from Sephora and Ulta. Actually just one thing from Ulta. I got a new foundation, the REM Beauty Sweetener Foundation. And a couple of these things were sent to me, but I did purchase a few of these as well. So we're just going to hang out, have some girl time, and try out some new goodies. So grab a snack, get cozy, and let's get into it. Starting off with the eyes first, I already primed the lids with the Rare Beauty eyeshadow base. And now I'm going to go in with this this gorgeous Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 3 palette. This is the neutral palette of my dreams. You get a row of all matte shades with warm and cool tone shades. And then you also get two cream shadows in here too, which is really nice. You can use those as liner or as a base for the other shades. So I'm gonna dabble into the top row today. I wanna do a warm look. So I'm pretty much gonna go down and use all of these here. So I'm gonna start off with this shade right here, the softest brown, and I'm gonna apply that as my neutral blending color. Wow, that feels so soft and buttery, just dipping my brush in and blending it out. It already gives such good color payoff and that's just one of the lightest colors. I love the way this blends. I can't believe this is the lightest shade. It actually, I feel like, gives more pigment when you actually apply it and build it up versus in the pan. You see how light that looks? But then when you apply it, look at how much pigment you get. That's crazy. I'm gonna take this color next on a smaller blending brush. I like to kind of look straight ahead and follow that crease. And I feel like it helps to look ahead because then you can kind of pretty much just apply your brush directly in your eye socket. And I just very lightly go back and forth to add some dimension. Wow, these are really pigmented. The formula is super blendable. Wow, I'm loving those two shades right off the bat. It's a really nice formula, super easy to blend. So I'm just gonna go down the row and I'm gonna take that next deeper color. I'm actually gonna mix in both of these shades, kind of just back and forth, dipping my brush. And I'm gonna concentrate most of this color on the outer lid, or both colors, I should say. I like to kind of stipple the brown down and then very lightly just blend it upwards a little bit. I kind of use tapping motions to place both of those shades down to bring most of the darkness on the outer lid. I'm going to build those up. Taking that first blending brush, I'm just going to blend the edges of that on my lid a little bit. Look at how nice and seamless that is. Wow. It's so exciting. And you can do your eyeshadow with just really smooth formulas. It makes the process so much more therapeutic and enjoyable. I'm building these up very lightly. And even just me dipping my brush a tiny bit, there's a lot of pigment. Okay, I'm going to go back into the first or one of the first colors that I used, this shade. I'm going to apply that a little bit more into my crease just to make everything look very diffused. I want to keep that light transition in there. So I'm using that color and then a little bit of the darkness that's around the edges to kind of blend upwards to create a gradient with the brown shades. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I love it. I'm gonna do a chocolate brown wing with the brown cream shadow that is in the palette. I'm just gonna apply these little tapes on the edges it makes it so much easier. I'm gonna dip into this creamy brown shade. I'm using an angled brush. This one is from NYX. That looks really good. I like the shade of brown too. Okay, I love the way this looks. I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that darker brown and just feather it out a bit more on the outer lid and crease a bit. Then I'm gonna take this muted cream color and I'm gonna apply that on my lid just about midway. And I'm using packing motions with a really flat brush. This one's actually from Amazon. Once I have that color down, I'm taking a clean blending brush and I'm gonna blend the edges of that to diffuse everything out and I pretty much just continue adding more of that shade until I get it as light as I like and then I take kind of the edge of the brush and I almost carve out the lid so that it looks like a cut crease a little bit 
That is really pretty. I'm loving the formula of these. So far, so good. There is a little kickback with them, but it's because the formula is so buttery. It blends really nicely. Oh, I love it. Okay, now, this is always my favorite part. We're gonna remove the tape and we have a perfect wing i love the cream shadow formula too it's really easy to work with and i love the shade of brown because it really pops against the other brown still for lashes i picked up these new ones from i love sarai's new lash line called libre lashes and i actually purchased all of them these are foam ink by the way but today i'm going to use the style six which are little like half lashes so you just put them on the outer corners i think they're going to be perfect with today's look so i'm going to pop these on and we'll see how they look and then we'll come back and do the skin. You guys, these lashes are stunning. I'm gonna have to order like 20 more pairs because they look so good. They're not too long. They don't feel heavy. They're super fluffy and definitely see a lot of brides using these lashes specifically as well because they're not too much, you know? They're just enough. So now let's jump into the skin. I have a new foundation, the Sweetener Foundation from REM Beauty, but I'm just gonna use my normal or one of my favorite primers that I just know works with a lot of different foundations and it's the NYX Plump Right Back Primer. The foundation is supposed to be soft matte, so I want something that's hydrating but still gripping. And this is one of my favorites. Alrighty, I'm gonna pop in some claims right here. So it says it's infused with REM Hydra Smooth Essence Botanicals known to help correct dullness and reduce the look of pores and hyperpigmentation. This is supposed to be a medium to full coverage, the soft matte finish. And I got the color medium 4N. Packaging is gorgeous. Really like it. It's just sleek and simple. I kind of color matched myself in store, so hopefully this is a good match. I like this because it has a nice neutral undertone. Ooh, it feels whipped. So I like to kind of rub it in first and then blend it out with a brush. Dang, wait, I think I have a good color match for once. Yay. And I'm using a fresh foundation brush. This is the Anissa Beauty Pinnacle Foundation. And I'm just gonna press that into the skin. Dang, that's a good color match. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Wow, is that like not one of the best color matches I've ever done? Like that looks so good. It has sort of a whipped consistency. It looks like it's like almost a satin type of foundation. It feels hydrating, but it claims to be soft matte, but it definitely isn't totally drying on the skin. It has some bounce to it. It is thicker, but it has nice coverage. I have this little scar right here and you can just see, it's gonna cover it up instantly, watch. Wow, it's really pretty. So that is one side with and then without. It's very skin-like. To me, it has more of a satin type of finish. It's not totally matte, but it is more of a thicker formula. The color kind of changes. You can see from like me blending it to when I actually just rub it in with my finger. Hmm. I wonder if it oxidizes a little bit. It kind of looks like it, but it looks really, really pretty. I like the fact that it's thicker and it has more coverage. Ooh, I like it so far. Very comfortable, nice coverage. Blends really nicely too, even though it is thicker. I don't think you need as much as I used to get nice coverage. I think it looks very pretty. And that color match is really nice too. So I'm happy about that. I'm into it. So far, so good. Everything. Is just working so beautifully. Now let's try out a new concealer. I have the Serum Concealer from Tower 28 in the color 9.0. A lot of people really love this concealer, actually. So I'm gonna put some claims right here. It's a weightless serum concealer. It's gonna cover dark circles, hyperpigmentation, redness, medium buildable coverage with a natural finish. Packaging is super cute. Has a flat applicator. So I'm just gonna go right under the eyes and just do one swipe. Wipe. It feels very thin, but creamy. And I'm gonna use the Anissa Beauty Angled Concealer Brush. This is my favorite brush because it fits so perfectly on the under eyes and it doesn't absorb your product. So you're still gonna get that coverage. Blends everything so nicely because it has a good amount of density to it as well. Very thin formula, but I love how it melts into the skin. That looks really good. Very natural. I don't find it to be overly dewy, but it still is hydrating. That looks amazing. I feel like it just enhanced the under eyes without making it really heavy or makeup-y looking, you know, like it, it's definitely a natural concealer, but still gives coverage. So it's, I like that. Probably don't even need that much, honestly, because I feel like the concealer has good coverage. Ooh, that looks really good. Okay, everything is just working amazing on the skin. 
Very excited about this new blush that I got. It's the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush from Patrick Ta. These are my favorite products from him. They're just so stunning. And I don't know how this color is gonna work with my skin because it looks a little bit darker, but I had to get it for fall. This is like the most gorgeous berry blush. So I'm gonna start with the cream and then I'll layer it later on with the powder after I set. Ugh, I just, something about a fresh Patrick Ta blush is so mesmerizing to me. So I'm gonna start off with this color. Oh, that's actually very wearable and you can of course build it up as needed oh that looks stunning i built it up a little bit more it's a gorgeous berry i'm blending it up towards my temples oh wow this looks really good that's why i love his formula too it is so easy to work with is this not the most perfect shade too for the fall time like wow it blends really nicely. That's actually super wearable and pretty. And then the more that you add, the more color you're gonna get. So you can really control how light or dark you want the blush to look. But yeah, she is wearable. And this is the most gorgeous color for this time of year. But honestly, even for the winter, cause you're gonna get that really pretty like raspberry cheek. All right, we love her. I'm gonna go ahead and set now. I have a new powder from Milk Makeup. It is the Pore Eclipse Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I actually really love the Pore Eclipse line from Milk Makeup. I think it's amazing if you love a smooth matte finish with your makeup. The primer is really good. The setting spray is really nice. And now I'm curious about the powder. This one is in Translucent translucent by the way it comes in like four different shades okay i'm gonna use a powder puff this one is from rose and ben and what i like to do is dip the powder puff into the powder take excess powder wipe it on the back of my hand that way when you go in with your powder puff it is nice and smooth the powder and it's gonna go smooth on your under eyes before i do that though i have to blend out my little under eye creases which are inevitable but then set immediately after and it just assures that your under eyes will look as smooth as possible and then i pretty much just press the powder in back and forth until it is completely seamless and blended fully in the under eye area that looks amazing that is so blurring this is actually a really thin powder too it doesn't feel really heavy even when you apply it it just blurs smooths and sets everything wow that looks so good okay it's a good makeup day dang i feel like i need to go somewhere now after this because this makeup is like it's really good i like to look up too so that i can set as close as possible to my under eyes or to my lash line and also i'm gonna double check and see if there is any flashback once i'm done the entire makeup look i always like to take a picture in my closet to see if there's flashback and then usually with whatever is left over on the back of my hand, I'll kind of just take that on the powder puff and then use it to very lightly press it on my T-zone. And then usually I'll use whatever is left over as well on the cap. No powder goes to waste over here. I use it all up and then I'm debating if I want to use a different powder to set the rest of my face because this looks so good. It feels super smooth and soft and it doesn't look cakey. It actually just morphed into my skin in the best way possible. Um, no, I'm just gonna keep that in the t-zone area and then I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder for the rest of my face very lightly I'm gonna set everything else. I just used the wrong color I'm usually in one fair and I just used two medium now I have to do it on this side because I have everything to make everything look even okay, it's fine Actually, it doesn't look that bad. Let me go grab one fair really quick because that is my shade right now because I don't really have a tan anymore. Hold on. I cannot find my One Fair shade in Charlotte Tilbury, so I'm just gonna use a little bit more of the Milk Makeup Powder. Top off the excess, and then I'm just gonna set the rest of my makeup. I'm adding a touch of bronzer with the Physicians from Rilla Butter Bronzer Contour Palette. I'm gonna use that cool tone color right here, and I'm just gonna apply that on my forehead a little bit. I'm gonna take that gorgeous matte blush and i'm gonna top that off oops oh, it looks a little splotch hold on you know what it is it's like the engravement in here okay so this is kind of what i mean when you dip your brush any type of brush with the engravement that is in the blush since it is so bold you have to be careful because then that's what you're going to get on your brush so when you dip into the product 
maybe dip into it a couple times and kind of like swirl your brush around and then blend out a little bit on the back of your hand since it is more of a bolder color. I should have did that the first time that I used it. That was my bad. Just makes it a little bit more seamless. It's kind of like with the powder thing that I told you guys in the under eyes. When you go in and dip something and then if it doesn't look super smooth and seamless on your tool that you're using, it can look kind of splotchy when you apply it. So that was my bad, but I think we're good. I blended it out. It's a really pretty color. It is bold, so a little bit goes a long way. Just like I said, if you are gonna dip your brush in, don't just do it once because you're gonna get that engraved mark on your brush and it can look splotchy. But I was able to blend it out because the formula is amazing. But this is a really pretty color. It's like the most gorgeous raspberry shade for the fall. I really, really love this entire makeup look. I'm gonna do a little bit more blending because the blush is bold. I love this brush too, by the way. It's the Rose and Ben C41. It is just has the most perfect shape and it's a little bit more dense. So I feel like it is perfect for powders and just to kind of stamp product down and blend things out as well. Going back into the Patrick Ta palette, I'm gonna take a mixture of the matte white and the matte cream and I'm gonna pop that in the inner corners. Oh wow, the white is really nice. <sighs> It looks so good. Kind of like stamping that color in and blending it a little bit in the inner lids slightly. And then if need be, you can just kind of blend that out. This is the most perfect matte white shade. It gives such a good amount of brightness. Wow, I am in love. It makes your eyes look so much more awake by doing that. That is a perfect matte white. Wow. Let's actually, let me try to see if I can do this like cream brown liner on the waterline and see how it applies. I've never really done this before, but there's a first time for everything. It's like a really pretty warm brown. It kind of reminds me of the color Costa Riche from MAC. It's an eyeliner that I used to use when I was in high school and it makes your brown eyes pop so much. And this is pretty much like that. Oh gosh, now my eye's watering. Just gonna close it for a little bit. <laughs> Love. This is kind of like that reddish brown color, you know? Stunning. Um, really like obsessed with this. I'm gonna take this color right here and I'm gonna mix it with that red brown as well. And I'm just gonna smoke that out a little bit on the outer lower lash line. It's nice doing this too, because if you have any little fine lines like me, it's gonna help to conceal those a little bit more. And I'm gonna do some lower lash mascara course. I have three new lippies here from Fenty. These are the Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. I've tried these earlier this year and this is a really beautiful formula. I do recommend using a lip liner with it because it can bleed, but it is whipped and pigmented and they have stunning shades. But these are three new colors. I'm going to swatch them all on the lips and then we'll pick one for the look. So let's start with the first one in Truth Fairy. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, so this is Truth Fairy. This is like perfect with this look. I love this. It's super comfortable, but like I said, it can bleed, but it's still long wearing, if that makes sense, because it's like a liquid lipstick, but it doesn't feel as drying and it doesn't dry down as matte as a liquid lipstick. It still has that velvety whipped texture, but I love the formula of these though with lip liner. I think these do look really nice and I love how they feel because they don't feel as drying as a liquid lipstick. So this is the first shade and probably gonna be my favorite. This is the perfect color for fall so let's try on the other ones i'm probably gonna end up putting this one back on though because it looks so good with this look okay next color is fireproof This is Fireproof. I love the way this looks. It's showing up a bit brighter on camera. In person, it's a bit deeper, but this is gorgeous for the fall time. Again, it is super comfortable and opaque. The last color is Fashion Find. This is a good pink. It's like not too light, not too dark. I think it's a good like fall pink. I really like this formula. This is beautiful. So again, this is Fashion Find. All right, I'm gonna go with Truth Fairy. Ugh. This is actually my favorite color. It is stunning. I'm gonna add a lip liner after. I wanna see which one's gonna look best. I'm gonna add a little brown lip liner. This is the Rare Beauty Kind Words Matte Lip Liner in the shade Strong. It looks a little bit messed up around my mouth too from like wiping everything, but hopefully the lip liner will just bring everything together. I need some dimension too on the lips. Ooh. 
I'm just taking the tiniest bit of foundation and just cleaning up around my mouth a little bit. Super satisfying. I didn't even use a full pump. It's like the tiniest little dot of foundation. Then I'm just using this random little like flat brush to just clean everything up and it makes such a difference. Okay, this lip combo, I'm obsessed with it. So if you want a good lip liner with this liquid lipstick, highly recommend Rare Beauty. I feel like they complement each other really nicely too because Rare Beauty has tons of really great shades. So this is a really great brown for the fall time. And I love the way it looks with Truth Fairy. This is my favorite shade. It looks so good. Okay, last but not least, I'm just gonna set my makeup with the LYS Natural Finish Spray and that officially completes this look. I love the way this look turned out. This is the epitome of fall. The only thing is I am a little irritated because of this eyeshadow palette. I love it. It's so good. It's so expensive. It's $70, but wow, this is so beautiful down to the packaging, the formula of these. They blend like butter. They feel very luxe. And I love the fact that it's an all matte palette with cool and warm tones. You really cannot go wrong with this. If you splurge, this is worth it for sure. Definitely my favorite product that I used in today's video. I also love the lashes. These are so pretty. They're very lightweight, not too long, and they have the perfect amount of wispiness and fluffiness to them. Everything else I thought performed really nicely. The concealer, I'm gonna try to use a little bit less product because I don't think you need as much as I used to get that really nice coverage. I do feel like it is kind of settling in my fine lines a little bit, but I think that's because I used a lot and the formula is super hydrating. So I'll continue using this with a little bit less product, but the formula is beautiful and I do really love the fact that it has nice coverage. The Milk Makeup Powder is gorgeous, super smooth and blurring. I love this Pore Eclipse line from Milk because I find it to be matte and blurring but not drying on the skin. I have combo skin and I usually go for things that are a bit more hydrating but this is really nice and it feels nice on the skin as well. I did take a photo with flash to show you. I don't think it's completely flash proof. You can see my under eyes look a little bit light but I still think it looks really good on the skin though. I love the lip color. With the lip liner from Rare Beauty it is a stunning combo double thumbs up. And then another thing I wanted to mention, the Patrick Ta blush is stunning. I know I went a little crazy with the powdered blush, but this, I still find it to be a very wearable berry blush that could work on a lot of different skin tones. Now I wanted to talk about the foundation because I love the coverage of it. The finish is gorgeous, but I think this has oxidized on my skin because it looks a little bit darker and kind of orangey looking. I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but I'm looking at myself right now and around my mouth, it looks a little bit darker. And I did use a little bit of this to clean up my lip color. So I do feel like this did get a little bit darker. That's the only thing. So for me, that's a deal breaker because I don't like when products change as far as the color and the color match was so good, but it definitely, I feel like is a little bit darker now. But I'm gonna come back in a few hours and I'll show you guys what everything looks like. But so far, for the most part, I think the makeup looks really nice and the eyeshadow palette is just to die for, my favorite. Eyeshadow palette, blush, my two favorite things. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I will, like I said, still come back in a few hours, so I'm gonna see you in a little bit, but I like this look. Okay, I am reporting back to show you guys the foundation. It's been a couple hours and it still looks really good. Also, I don't think that it oxidized. I think it was just the powder that I used that little bit from Charlotte Tilbury. It kind of just threw me off but the foundation still looks really good. It definitely has more of a satin finish. You can see I have a bit of shine. It doesn't feel really oily. It's almost just like very hydrating. So I think if you have oily skin or if you prefer something more matte, you might not like this or you might wanna use a mattifying primer underneath. But the foundation is still in place. It looks really good. It's super smooth, but it's definitely not natural. It's gonna look like you're wearing makeup, you know? It's not gonna look like your skin, but better. It's one of those foundations where you can tell that you're wearing foundation. It might look a little cakey or heavy to around the nose, depending on how much you use. It might emphasize some lines, a little bit of texture, you know what I mean? Just because of the formula and how extremely pigmented it is. Looking back, I actually feel like this is more full coverage. It says medium to full, but I feel like it is extremely pigmented. It's super flawless though, I will say. Like it looks really good. I feel like this is a good going out foundation or for maybe for a special occasion. I'm loving it though. And the rest of the makeup, by the way, looks bomb. I love the blush, the eyeshadow, the lashes. Everything looks really good. The concealer's looking pretty good too for the amount that I used. 
I'm pretty impressed. So I am definitely going to report back in a few days and I'll show you guys what everything looks like again because I want to keep wearing the foundation but so far I'm actually really liking it and I'm liking all the other products as well. Okay I am back for a little update. It's been a few days and I've been wearing this makeup all day. I've been filming some content so I wanted to give you guys a little update on the products. It is almost time for me to do my night routine 9 21 p.m. So let's do a little recap first of all on this glam. It's one of my favorites and it's so easy by the way but on my brows I've been using the Dominique brow frame. I know who is she switching up the brow products it's crazy. A lot of people ask if I'm still using the Oma Beauty 2-in-1 Brow Styler. Honestly, ever since I started using this, I have not, but I still love that brow pencil. It's a good brow pencil, and now that I do a little bit more of a softer brow, I feel like that would be perfect for this kind of look. So this is what I have on in the shade Soft Black Brown, and then I actually paired two different brow gels together, and they have been in place all day. So if you want this fluffy brow look, these two are amazing. The Dominique Brow Blowout Shaping Gel, so bomb. It truly is like lemon brows in a tube and I love the Rare Beauty brow gel as well. It's a bit more lightweight but it has a really strong hold and both of these together are magic and glue for your eyebrows but you still get that fluffy effect. On the eyes I have the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 3 palette. I love this palette. It is truly the perfect neutral palette. I cannot wait to do more looks with it. I have on this color and this color just very lightly all over the crease and the lid and then my wing is actually this black eyeshadow. It is probably the most pigmented black eyeshadow in my entire collection that I've ever used. I'm so impressed with this palette. I really love it. Still my favorite product ever that I've used so far. And then I have this gorgeous glitter. Every time I wear this glitter, you guys always ask, and I always tell you, it's the Diamond Bomb from Fenty Beauty and How Many Carrots. Truly the best glitter. I just put it on my finger and tap it all over the lid, and it gives the most gorgeous effect. The more that you add, the more of that glitter you're gonna get. It's the best. So that's all that's on my eyes. Kiss number 11 lashes. Let's talk about the complexion. So I have been testing out again the Rem Beauty Foundation. Final verdict, I think this is a beautiful foundation. It has really great coverage. It has a satin matte finish and I do think it lasts really well The only thing for me is I don't think the shade is perfect for me I think I have to either get another shade or I could continue using it and just make it work with other products If I had a bit of a tan, this would be perfect Maybe if I self tan this could be a good color match But I do notice that when I first pump it out on my skin and I blend it out the color changes a little bit It gets a little bit more like darker. So I don't think it maybe necessarily oxidizes I didn't see anybody else have that issue. I feel like maybe it's just this color that is not my perfect match but other than that the foundation is gorgeous it's definitely a I don't want to say heavier foundation but it's more pigmented it has really good coverage and to me this is going to be something for more glam looks or when I want more of that fuller coverage feel and look to the skin but it is flawless I think it wears beautifully I love the satin matte finish it's very comfortable but if you use too much it can start to look a little cakey in certain areas that's the only thing but I still think it is absolutely flawless and I can't wait to keep using it so if you guys have tried this let me know your thoughts I've seen nothing but good things about it and for me the only complaint that I personally have which it's not even the foundation it's just I need to get a better shade I think the shades are a little bit confusing though and I kind of struggled with that with her concealer I never found a perfect shade in her concealer I just could never do it I ended up exchanging two different shades and then I just gave up so that's the only thing but the foundation is gorgeous and I can still make this color work with other products so it's honestly not a big deal I also love the packaging so I can't wait to continue using that as far as the concealer from Tower 28. It looks so much better today because I used way less product. I think less is more with this. You don't need to use a lot because if you do, I feel like it already has good coverage. It's super creamy. Even though it's thin, you just can't use too much or it can crease if you have a lot of fine lines, like a little bit excessively. So less is more. And if you do less, it looks so beautiful and flawless. I feel like even though the formula is thin, it spreads out really nicely and it's pretty opaque when you blend it out. So I'm loving this. And this color, MDR is a perfect match. I'm loving this. I paired it with the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Translucent Powder. I used this today on the under eyes and pretty much all over my face. And then I also did a little bit of the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Powder, a bit around the cheeks and the perimeter. Ugh, oh, hold on. Who's texting me? 
my boo thing. But yeah, I used a little bit of the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop powder in the shade Light Medium, and I think this looks flawless. I wanted to mention, I took another photo with Flash. This is why I don't always love first impressions, because it looks gorgeous, the powder today. It actually looks super flawless. I will pop a picture right here, because it looks kind of bright right here on my phone. It looks so good. So I feel like it's because I used a little bit less product today, and it just looks super smooth. It looks totally seamless. So I actually maybe do think the powder is flash proof. Maybe it just depends on how much product you're using underneath. I don't know what happened the other day. I don't think it looked terrible the other day, but it looks way better today with flash. So I love that. And yeah, so far I'm actually really enjoying all of the products that I used. I feel like, yes, I could use a blotting sheet, but it doesn't look or feel overly greasy or oily. I've been way more oily before. I actually don't mind this kind of look because I think it's just kind of like satiny, healthy, natural, glowy. You know, it's not greasy, at least to me. I'm loving it. So I cannot wait to continue using these goodies. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these, but I have to say I'm really impressed with these so far. Still, my favorite product that I used is the Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette. This is to die for. And then if you're curious, on my lips, I have on the Rare Beauty Kind Words Matte Lip Liner in the shade Wise with the e.l.f. O-Face Satin Lipstick in dirty talk. So you guys will definitely see a lot of these in future videos to come. So stay tuned. That is everything for today's little kind of first impressions testing new makeup. Thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out with me. And I cannot wait to see you very soon in my next one. Bye. Mwah.